This isn't medieval times. We're not reinventing squirrel pie. It's 2011, and today we're feasting on sausage, onion and marmite butties. You're telling me we haven't got dry ice. There's no room here for molecular gastronomy. Scour your kitchen for an onion, a large bat, spread, olive oil, a pinch of sugar and some chipolatas. Little skinny ones. You know what I mean, ladies. If you don't want to use chipolatas, you can use two big ones. Now, these are just normal sausages. They've never seen liquid nitrogen. Just simple. Goggle up. Ow! No tear action here. Goggles off, bit of oil. There's nothing modern, futuristic about this recipe. It's just very basic, and I quite like those sort of things. There's a pub near me, and their speciality of the house is a 13th century recipe for lasagna. It's quite extraordinary, actually, when you have it, because what you realise is it's absolutely disgusting. Put the spread on the bat. Sausage is still cooking. Dear pub, I've just plugged your lovely medieval lasagna. Expect all meals to be free from now on. Okay, cool, I'm ready. Little tiny bit of sugar to caramelize them a little bit. Little bit of Marmite, mix it up. Little plate so that you feel good about yourself. Sausages, onions, like a posh burger bar this. Top on at a rakish angle so you can see how good it is. And there you go, sausage, onion and Marmite butty. And there's no hocus pocus here. I'm not cooking an aardvark todger. You know why? Because I'm cooking sausages, chipolatas, onions, marmite, in a butty, bang. And then I'm off to the pub. 